As we work with our patients to get them off of opioids for the treatment of pain, we can encourage other strategies for dealing with pain. Ideally, we would refer patients to physical therapy, massage, psychotherapy, acupuncture, but many of us practice in resource-poor settings with limited access to other forms of pain treatment for our patients and or insurance companies which won't pay for non-opioid alternatives. Nonetheless, there are things we can teach our patients even within the span of a limited appointment to help them endure the taper and find different ways of coping with pain. But first, what not to do. Do not prescribe benzodiazepines as a replacement for opioids. I've seen many instances of patients tapered off of opioids using benzodiazepines like clonazepam or diazepam only to find themselves dependent on or addicted to the benzodiazepines, which for some people are even harder to get off than opioids. I like to recommend three non-medication skills for coping with pain that are well described by dialectical behavior therapy a type of therapy that focuses on coping in the here and now. First, teach patients stop skills. Stop, take a breath, observe internal and external experience, and proceed mindfully. Examples of observe experience could be acknowledging pain and noticing if something in the environment is making it worse at the moment. Examples of proceeding mindfully could be remembering the top three reasons why they want to stay off of opioids. For example, my kids, I don't want to feel dependent on something, my health. Teach patients opposite action skills, acting opposite to the emotional urge in the service of pursuing values or goals. Many patients with chronic pain become obsessively focused on their pain and let it limit their participation in many activities. Here we encourage patients to do the opposite and engage in activities within reason in spite of pain being present. Teach patients radical acceptance. Radical acceptance is accepting reality as it is, not as we wish it would be. I've made a lot of progress in this past year. I've been rating my pain every day and I've been saying four to five, which is actually good for me. You know, I'm scheduling more, definitely more proactive. My goal is to just have those become habits and just more automatic for me. And my husband now that he sees the positive changes that I'm making, he's a lot more hopeful. Like he talks about traveling and also we have one child now and we've always wanted to have more kids. For chronic pain patients, this often means that their pain may likely never go away but life can still be worth living, even if it includes pain. When we stop running from reality, it has the paradoxical effect of empowering us and also allowing us to cope better. You heard in Laura's story how helpful these techniques were to her during and after the opioid taper, as she relearned how to live in the world without taking a pill to cope with pain. Stop skills, opposite action skills, and radical acceptance are just a few examples of important non-medical skills which can help patients tapering off of opioids. Bravo, you've completed this course. We hope you've learned some clinical tools for tapering patients off of chronic opioid therapy. For helpful resources related to this topic, please go to the links on the screen for more information.